Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I've been waiting a whole year to film this video. I saw it last year, I was like, I cannot wait to do that next year. So here we are. Here are my best and worst purchases I made in 2022. Now, I'm just gonna say, I had a really hard time coming up with my worst purchases. I feel like I really didn't have that many that were just absolutely terrible. So I have a lot more best than I do worst. So it's pretty much all my favorite things from the year with the caveat that it had to be bought in 2022. And please comment down below what your best purchase was and what your worst purchase was. Also, I forgot to mention, I'll have all my favorite purchases down below. Obviously, I'm not gonna put my worst purchases down there. Before we hop into the video, be sure to follow me over on Instagram. You can keep up with my life over there. We have a lot of fun. And with all that being said, let's get started into today's video. So we're gonna start off with my best purchases and then we'll end with my worst. They're really in no particular order. But the first thing that was definitely the best purchase was our espresso machine, the Breville Barista Express. This was actually gifted to me, but I still got it this year. And if this machine broke today, I would absolutely go and buy another one, which is crazy because I don't just spend money like that, but this thing has literally changed my life. I know that's very dramatic, but I love coffee and I love the process of coffee and being able to make any drink I want from home has changed the game. And I also feel like it saved me a lot of money because I genuinely do make coffee at home and then bring it with me if I'm going somewhere like Target or church or whatever it may be. And I have I've had a Nespresso machine and I think that's a great step but the Breville Barista Express is just another level up there it is so much fun I've had so much fun with my latte art and it's truly just my favorite item of all time okay next item that I don't know if this really counts but we did buy him and that is Teddy our puppy he is so stinking cute he has brought so much joy to our lives I am such a dog person and I have waited years and years and years and years to finally get my own dog. Even though he just recently joined our family, he is still the best thing to ever happen to us. So we love him so much, he had to be up here. So my next best purchase is actually this book called One of Us is Lying. Now let me explain why that's my best purchase because at the beginning of this year, I made a resolution that I wanted to read at least one book a year. So 12 books the entire year. And I read that book in like 24 hours and it reopened my love for reading. I used to love reading, but I don't know, I just stopped reading. And it has become one of my newest favorite hobbies. I love reading books and diving into a new story. And not only have I just enjoyed it, but it has improved my quality of life because Prior to me reading, I was having so many issues trying to fall asleep. Like I would be up till 2, 3 a.m. I just could not shut my brain off. And I began reading before bed and that has helped me so, so much. It has been such a relief and it has literally helped my quality of life. So I'm so thankful I bought that one book because it brought me into the world of reading again. And I've actually read 22 books this year. So that's really exciting. So I thought it'd be fun to share my favorite books from this year. And I'm just gonna tell you guys my five star reads. I'm not gonna give a synopsis or anything. I'm just gonna list them off. So my first five star read was Where the Crawdads Sing. That was such a good book. Trust me, it takes about 100 pages for it to get interesting, but it's worth it. The next one is A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. This series was so, so good. Another series that I loved was The Inheritance Games. This book I read in less than 24 hours. It was amazing. Then the last book that I'll recommend, I actually just finished reading, and it is Rock, Paper, Scissors. It was a great mystery thriller it was so so good so these were the three five stars i gave this year so not many i had a lot of four stars but these were my only five star books so if you guys are big readers comment your favorite book down below and what i should read next so my next best purchase was the top gun maverick movie ticket that movie was probably one of the best movies I've ever seen in my life. Like, it was just that good. We saw it twice in theaters, and I would go see it a third time. And it's one of those movies that I could probably watch over and over and over. It just gave me chills. It was so, so good. I think I cried each time I watched it in theaters. And if you haven't seen that movie, I don't know what you're doing. You need to go see it. Okay, next favorite purchase are these pajama pants. Earlier this year, I bought these pants from Target. I don't even know if they're actually pajama pants. 
Oh my gosh, they are so comfortable. I cannot sleep in anything else ever again. I've got three pairs and I am obsessed with them. I'll link them down below. It's the Stars Above brand and they're just like a wide leg pant. I like to sleep in pants. I'm kind of weird like that. So if you like to sleep in pants or you just want a cozy pair of pants to wear around the house, I really recommend these and I think they're like $20. It was the best accidental purchase, by the way, that I've ever made. Hopefully you cannot hear my neighbor blowing his yard. You probably can. That's annoying. Anyway, we're just gonna keep on trucking along. Okay, next favorite thing, best purchase, was from Amazon, and they are the Align Jogger dupes. I think they're like $20, and they are amazing. So this pair, I don't know if you can tell like how worn down they are, they're inside out. Um, I've had them for a year. I bought them at the beginning of the year, and I have worn them all the time I wear them all the time so on Black Friday I actually bought a brand new pair and I'm gonna get rid of the old ones because they are just in such bad shape so they probably don't last as long as Lululemon but they are so cheap and so comfortable I will say I think the Lululemon ones feel better but for 20 bucks I'll take it okay next best purchase is actually these pair of jeans from Abercrombie and Fitch it's the 90 straight ultra high-rise jeans these jeans are so in right now and I love them so much I really wanted the light wash but this was the only one they had in my size but I did buy the light wash on Black Friday that's how much I love them I think they're very comfortable very flattering and the day I bought these Teddy literally ripped to them so he jumped up and bit my leg and put a hole in it and I was so sad and my last clothing favorite is actually what I'm wearing right now and it is this matching set from Aerie I won't talk about this too long because it's sold out everywhere online and I know it's really hard to get your hands on but I'm pretty sure this set went viral on TikTok and I felt so lucky when I found it in store because it was sold out online it was out everywhere but I've been living in it non-stop it is so comfortable and so cute so hopefully they'll bring it back in stock soon my next favorite is my Lululemon belt bag this thing is the best thing ever you guys know I always carry belt bags around and my first one was actually from Target and it's a leather one and I love this one especially since it has the zipper all the way around I can actually fit much more in there than I can my leather one like I can fit my camera in here my phone so many different things and it's just so easy and convenient this was definitely one of my best purchases it sold out a lot but if you follow me on Instagram I will typically post whenever it goes back in stock I did that last time and you guys bought so many I don't blame you I had so many people messaging me being like oh my gosh I finally got one they're the best things ever and it's pretty affordable $40 for a nice purse that I wear all the time is so worth it I actually have a few beauty items that are new to me this year that I've been obsessed with so first is this drunk elephant um, proteiny polypeptide cream this is what I use as my moisturizer I've been using this probably for the last like mm, six months maybe and it is so 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 good I have like dry and oily skin so I guess combination and it's really great for my skin and I love that it's like a little pump down I don't know I just think it's fun uh, but yeah I love this moisturizer and my skin is very very sensitive and this does not bother my skin at all so I really recommend this okay next favorite is my Laneige lip mask now I actually bought this for the first time in 2021 but I repurchased it again in 2022 so I'm gonna count it and I love this I have gone to I think three parties this year where you bring like your favorite thing or a white elephant gift and I've given this away because it is just the best thing ever definitely one of my favorite items and it's pretty affordable and it lasts about a whole year so definitely worth it I wear this day night all the time I bring it around with me everywhere next item you guys probably aren't surprised is this merit lip oil in the shade taupe I love this so so much I'm wearing it on my lips right now it's so moisturizing and I love the color it is a more recent purchase but I know it's definitely one of my favorite things so far I wear it all the time I really recommend it if you're not like the biggest lipstick person it's great because it's like a gloss without being sticky and glossy but it still gives you some color so I love it okay last beauty item is this mascara this is the thrive cosmetics lash extension mascara and it literally does like give extensions to your lashes like I think it's got little like fibers on there I'm not really sure of the technology of it but it is the best mascara my mom actually showed it to me and I think my aunt showed it to her so aunt Colleen shout out to you this is the best stuff and when I thought it couldn't get any better it did because whenever you go to take it off 
it comes off so easy. So I've seen some people comment and be like, what, it's so hard to get off. I don't know if you know how to get it off then because all you do is you run your finger underwater and then once you get your fingers wet, you just pull on your eyelashes and it just slips off in tubes. I might like do a little demo for you and it makes it so easy to take my makeup off at night. I don't even need makeup remover wipes. You just use water. It is the best thing ever and it's really gentle on my lashes too. I was a little worried that like whenever I heard you pull it off, I was like, uh oh, that's probably not good for your lashes. It's really not pulling on your lashes. It's just pulling the stuff off of your lashes. This stuff is the best. I am obsessed with it. I already bought another one. It is so great. So my next best purchase is actually just a category of things and that is my sourdough category. I started making sourdough this year and it has been such a fun process. For me, I just love the process of making and baking bread and then giving it to all my friends and family. There is just something so sweet about homemade bread and then every time I make it, I make two loaves so I usually give one away and it is just so delicious and so satisfying to make your own bread. So all the stuff for it, I'm just putting it in this category. Also, if you're wondering, I get people messaging me all the time to say like, what do I do if I want to start sourdough? I will link my Amazon storefront down below. I have everything that I use for my sourdough on there. Everything that I've gotten for it has been on Amazon, so I just linked all my favorite things. Next best purchase is actually this OctoBuddy um, suction cup little pad on the back of my phone. So this allows my phone to stick to any like mirror or glass surface and it is so nice. One for my job, but even if you don't do what I do like videoing and stuff, I'll stick it on my mirror as I'm getting ready and I just like watch YouTube videos while I'm getting ready or a show or something. It's also come in handy whenever we're trying to take group photos. This has come in handy so, so many times and you just stick it wherever you can find a surface and it's so easy to take a self timer photo. So I recommend this and it's super Super cheap on Amazon and it is really really nice this next item is very random but it is my iPad stand so I've had my iPad for years and I honestly didn't use it that much until I got this stand and it just changed the game and I think it's because one it made it to where it was just easier to use all around like if I'm cooking I'll pull the recipe up on here or if I'm working, I'll set it next to my laptop. And I also didn't realize until I got the stand that it works as like the second screen to my laptop. So all I have to do is like move my mouse over and then the iPad becomes the second screen. And it has just made my work life so much easier. I really do love it. So who knew? It just took a $10 iPad stand for me to actually use my iPad. But I really do love it and it's been a great purchase this year. So last but not least is this little reading light. Like I mentioned earlier whenever I talked about the books, reading at night really helps me fall asleep. But I felt bad having my lamp on while Sam was trying to sleep. So I was like, okay, I need to just like buy a little tiny light. This has been great for me because I can read in bed. It's also bad because I could read for hours. But I love it. It's so great and it was super cheap and it's worked great so far so I really enjoy it again I got it off Amazon okay now time for the not so happy part of the video which I hate even talking about this stuff because I don't know I just feel I don't really like being negative but anyway I'll just talk about this stuff anyway so the first worst purchase was definitely my gym membership which this was to like our local gym I was doing orange theory loved Orange Theory, my favorite thing. I did it for like over a year and I went twice a week. It was so much fun. Whenever we bought our house, I was like, okay, where can I cut back to kind of like rebuild our savings again? And it was Orange Theory. I was like, okay, that can be the first thing to go. So we got a new cheaper gym membership near our house. I was like, all right, I'm gonna become a gym girl. I'm gonna start going to the gym. But nothing changed. I still was not a gym girl. I just felt overwhelmed. I would go in there, really not know what to do. And I'd feel uncomfortable because it seemed like everyone else knew what they were doing. I just did not. And at the end of the day, I just need someone yelling at me, telling me what to do or else I'm not gonna do it. I am not very like self-motivated whenever it comes to fitness. So sadly, my gym membership was a waste. I stopped going the last like few months and we still need to cancel it. So we're gonna do that after this because I filled out the form and everything. So yeah, that was probably my worst purchase of the year for sure. Next worst purchase I am so sad about because I had been waiting about a year to purchase this again. And it is this S necklace from Anthropology. So I actually have owned this necklace before and I had owned it for like two weeks and then I left it at my friend's house and just like haven't gotten it back. Like she's in Tennessee, I'm in Georgia, so it's hard. And so Black Friday, I was like, okay, I'm gonna buy it again. That's how much I love this necklace. It's so beautiful. And I had it for probably a couple weeks. 
I don't know if you can tell, but the S is now silver when it's all supposed to be gold. And I know it's because I got it wet, but I wore it in the shower once. And this necklace was not cheap. It was like $40. So I'm just really sad because my favorite part of the necklace, which was like the contrast of like the diamonds and the gold, is now silver. And silver is just not my color. Gold is. So that was just a waste. It immediately went silver. So I was really, really sad about that. Okay, this next purchase actually happened last week. And this was definitely terrible. So they make these bitter apple sprays that you can spray around to have your dog not bite on anything. Teddy is a puppy, so he loves biting on the edge of the couch or our table and things like that. So we had already gone through a whole bottle of this other brand and we were having him stay at my friend's house. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna buy them a fresh bottle just in case. Like he should be fine, but I just want them to have it just in case. So I was on Amazon and I saw this brand and it looked like a great brand and it was a little bit cheaper. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna get that brand. So I got it and the day it came in, I sprayed it all over our couch, which I sprayed it just on the bottom edge of the couch, like not even just like in the air. Guys, we were choking for probably 30 minutes. Like, I'm not even kidding. Our friends called us and they were like, oh my gosh, are you guys okay? Because we couldn't speak on the phone. I had to open all the windows inside the house. It was terrible. It literally felt like pepper spray. Like, I don't know if you've been around when pepper spray has been sprayed. Like, not directly to you, but whenever it's in the air and your throat is just like itching and burning and you can't stop coughing. That's what happened with this. And again, I did not spray it in the air. I just sprayed it like on the very edge of the couch, like directly. And we could not get away from it. It was terrible. It was so, so bad. Also, it didn't even deter Teddy from anything. Like he didn't go away from the things I sprayed. So this definitely did not work. I'm gonna be returning it because that was just terrible. And do not buy this. I'm warning you, it was so bad. Okay, so the next thing is a really random thing, but at the beginning of the year, I made this really large charcuterie board for my family, and I overestimated how much we needed. Like, I just bought way too much stuff, and that was such a waste of money when I didn't need to do that. It looked beautiful, I will say that. I was very proud of that part, but it was just a big waste of money, and I felt really bad because I was like, well, I just spent all that money, and we didn't need that because there just like was way too much food for all of us to eat. Okay, the last worst purchase was all our medical bills this year, which some of them were necessary, but it still just really hurts. So I'm throwing it in this category. So just like a small example of this is that I went to a doctor. It was a specialty doctor, but just to like keep it vague, she pretty much just did like a checkup, okay? Like it was nothing. She didn't give me any shots or any like medication or anything. And I get the bill in the mail and it was one hour like at that and it was $800 and I was like $800 for what what did you do and yeah that was terrible it's because it was out of network so my insurance didn't cover it, and just like all these things so that made me want to throw up because I was like oh my gosh if I knew it was $800 I would not have gone but you live and you learn and now I ask before I have them do anything like hey how much do you think this is gonna cost and then around April Sam had slipped a couple discs in his back which I'm so glad that he's like better now but that was just like so expensive between emergency room we went to urgent care first and like all these different things all the shots all the this cat scans and all that it was just so expensive and I know that medical stuff is expensive and I think in some ways it needs to be because doctors need to get paid but in some situations, I'm like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe we just paid that for that. You know what I mean? So I put that down as the worst purchase because I would have rather spent that money on other things. But hey, had to take care of our health. So so those are my best and worst purchases of the year. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want to see it again next year. I always enjoy videos like this. And I'll link everything down below for you guys if you want to check out some of my favorite things. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.